Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do Sacred Six number two by uh, Dynamite Comics. And this is a gorgeous cover by uh, Parelio, Lucio Parelio, if I'm correct. Um, I did a review of issue one a while back. Um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to see that. Um, and the story is a little bit convoluted um, because every chapter or better yet, every comic has been, you know, cut down in chapters. You know, the one person has three pages of screen time, then it goes to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So what is the story all about? Well, I'm going to read it from the website because if I'm going to explain it, I'm, you know, it's going to take a lot of time. So the short gist is um, there is an... Um, some kind of a council, it's called the Six, and they want to radicalize a uh, peaceful vampire. So there are monsters, zombies, vampires, and other creatures uh, living in Ashford, and they are, you know, they, they do not attack human beings, they want to live in peace with each other. And the Six wants to go back to the old ways. They want to basically to rule, because they think what's happening now is not, you know, vampire-like they are uh, radical cults if you sort of and they uh, they hold on to the old vampire ways if you will and um, but in issue one there are two young boys missing the problem is that um, when the state is going to investigate and they cannot find the the missing boys they go look into the nearest town called Ashbourne. And if they see, you know, something like a shambling zombie, well, or a vampire, you know what's going to happen. The whole town is going to get raised by the authorities. So what the town is going to do, or maybe the, the mayor, who is a vampire, uh, he wants to find those two boys. And he sends Panta, or Panta, um, uh, on a journey to find those missing boys. Uh, in the meantime... A Lilith of Draculon has her own agenda, and she is recruiting half vampire chastity and an all new Draculina to have uh, achieve her own personal goal. But also, in the meanwhile, or in the meantime, Nyx, daughter of the mad god Chaos, hunts Lilith, Lilith for revenge. So, and so there's a little of all of you know intertwining storylines. Um, if you will have to wait a month for to, to get this book, it's it, like I said, it's had some convoluted stories because it skips from one character to another character to another character in a very short time, and they have their own you know versions to tell. For instance, um, this is uh, set back in Egypt, um, and it's it's um, tells a story about uh, a queen, Samira. Her husband, the pharaoh, died and they had a baby, but it's not her baby. It's this woman's baby, uh, probably a second wife or maybe a concubine. Uh, so that means the baby is a threat to the power and wealth and the throne. So what she's going to do, she's going to do everything in her path to, you know, get the boy and kill the boy. And what she's going to do, she's going to lock her up in some kind of a tomb in the, in the temple. And then um, this creature is uh, popping up. Looks real cool, by the way. And um, Samira uh, promised the, the the cat god to, um, well, if the child has been taken, uh, he will serve uh, him for life. So the cat god grants uh, Samira um, some unusual boon and power. She can look through every cat's eyes in Egypt Um so basically, she has unlimited spies. Depends on where the cats are. So she finds the um, the child that she's gonna go on a hunt, but she is not in her how do you say emperor's clothes or queen's clothes because she wants to murder him, and that would be bad if people find out. And she wants also kill everyone that you know uh, follows her because that's evidence if people find out. So there's a a lot of shenanigans going on. It's really interesting. And then, uh, cool covers. Skipping a few pages. So, I must say, I like really like this page. Um, the problem is, is this is Lilith, by the way. And um, what is the problem with Dynamite Comics is 
what I tell a lot of, um, well, in my reviews, I always complain about backgrounds and Dynamite Comics has one of the worst, if not the worst comics with no backgrounds. This is n not one of the worst. It's pretty okay. Still of lack of backgrounds, but when you go to, let's say, Red Sonja uh, and even the, the normal Vampirella comics, it's atrocious when it comes to backgrounds. There's nothing there. It's only, you know, talking, talking, and then some color palette behind it, and then some weird effects, and that's it. Uh, I must say, with the moon, with the blue, and uh, the concrete, um, this looks really cool. I wish there was a little bit more, but it it works. It's perfect. It's really spooky and creepy. And uh, if we skip a little bit more, then we see this during daytime. Uh, I'm not sure what the structure is. I forgot. But uh, yeah, it, it looks looks really, really cool. So um, skipping a few pages. So we see here the new Draculina. He has a, she has an affair with this girl who is very religious. I believe she's human. And uh, well, there's also stuff going on here. But she needs some, you know, files or something for something. <laughs> I know it's it's. I don't know what the what she wants with the files, but that's gonna probably reveal later. And then Lilith gonna, you know, um, visit her son Drago, the vampire. And basically, she said um, she needs her help. But he said, "Hey, listen, I have my own problems. I need to find the missing boys." And he sends Penta on the way. And uh, and well, Lil Lilith is disappearance. He's gonna seek out. Um, this woman, um, that is uh, Chastity, and she made a, she's gonna make a deal with her. She says, "I know, um, I know you hunt creatures that cursed you, who killed your parents." And she said, "I know where to find an entire town of them." How do you like to play a new role? So basically, she recruits them for probably going to war with uh, with the town um, because she has her own agenda. And Chastity is a half vampire, so you know you know the whole trope. You know she's all of the powers, none of the weaknesses. It's it's been done to death by a lot of comics. I, I don't like that trope. Uh, even if you have have the vampire powers, I mean, you are half human. I think you have some kind of weaknesses. You know, maybe not as strong, not as fast. Maybe a little bit of vulnerable, vulnerable to sunlight, something like that. Instead of hey, I can do all the vampire stuff, but you know. I don't have all the weaknesses, which seems, yeah, bullshit. And then uh, we switch to um, Nyx. Nyx is sitting here while two lovers have sex with each other. And then, uh, skipping a few pages, she says, uh, these two want to have a threesome with her. And uh, and then she basically killed one, uh, one of them. And she wants to know where, uh, where Lilith is. She transforms into some kind of fiery being. And then she says while she's flying away um, that Lilith killed, uh, tricked her into that she's going to kill, uh, that she's killed a thousand people. What I don't get, if you, if that's a problem for you, killing a thousands of people, why do you kill him? And why do you kill her? Because the whole building is blowing up. So that makes no sense to me. So that's a little bit confusing storytelling that I don't like. Um... Then we skip a few. Well, let's say we go back to um, to the six, and Lilith is visiting the, visiting the six because she wants to have the only recruit left, and that's Vampirella. And somehow this Vampirella is in cahoots with the six. I'm not entirely sure, but they're in the in the same building. Basically, she um, one of the. Uh, Lumea Urmatore, that's what the six is. It's the oldest vampire group, I guess. And they are in every... Well, they have a, a, a finger in... Is that how you say it? Probably not. But they are infiltrating in, in every major... Um, well, they are, they are celebrities, they are sports figures, they are politicians, judges, police, cardinals. So they are basically everywhere. And it's... And when they rise to power, they, uh, well, they're they gonna, 
tries to power up something. I don't know how to how to explain it. But like I said, it's a little bit convoluted. But um, they are in cahoots with each other, and probably I think they're gonna make a deal with each other. I'm not entirely sure because I have to read issue three again. Um, I, I, I I'm not sure if I like the the comic. It's not a bad comic. I like where the story is going, but sometimes they speak about things that um, leads to another comic, like you know Vampirella or even uh, other comics from Dynamite that I don't have. That's also the reason why Nyx wants to kill uh, Lilith because she did something and I don't have that issue. So I have no idea what she's speaking about. But, you know, uh, I like the fact there is a, you know, a group of people, you know, want to live in peace and there is an older vampire faction that wants to control everything. And then the Sacred Six is probably this this with Vampirella and all the other um, female um, monsters, quote unquote. Uh, well, they are monsters. I mean, they are vampires mostly. And, um, you know, they're going to war with each other somehow and somewhere. Uh, somewhere, somehow, when, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued with this. Um, the thing that uh, Dynamite is very is doing good is, you know, making beautiful covers. Uh, uh, although I'm not always a big fan of the interior art. But the Sacred Six story is intriguing. Uh, all, although a little bit convoluting, so I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna read the, uh, the next issues and come back with the uh, with the new reviews very soon. So thank you for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.